Hello and welcome to Kerbal Space Program and my let's play of said game. My name is Hillstash and I still haven't ended those flights over there. We have Bill and Jeb for our first piloted <laughs> space attempt in 0.19. So we're just kind of cheating a little bit and, uh, you know, we don't need to do the whole launch a little rocket launch. You know, we did this our Sputnik already and uh, we have some a satellite out in geosynchronous and and so on and so forth. So it's time to do a space station. Uh, I, I kind of did a lame attempt at a space station last uh, series uh, in 0.18. I had uh, the Manly space station named after, of course, Scott Manley. And uh, anyway, this time I, try, I will try to do a better space station. And this is just the core. Uh, and every part here is meant to be returned safely to, to Kerbin, even though some parts are going to be falling off. You know, and uh, when I remembered uh, I wanted to do one thing too. That needs to be down there. <laughs> Uh, glad I remember that. Every part then uh, either parachutes back on its own and presumably gets picked up by a ship, or I have to manually deorbit uh, some of the, the inner stages here, I think. That's the plan. Uh, of course, we have the B9 mod uh, up here. Looking good. And uh, yeah, I think we are ready to go. Let's give it some throttle. And. Uh, this is going to be probably a pretty short episode. I don't have a lot of time. Uh, and Elu is kind of in front of the screen. <laughs> That's definitely a goal, 0.19. Got to get to Elu some point here soon. So uh, anyway, I'm going to probably talk through the uh, through the ascent. So Jeb and Bill, let's hope they, they survive this. Maybe a bit more throttle. In three, two. All right, looks good so far. I would say we have a good ship. Oh, and so I've been playing around with Mech Jab. I've got a little bit more of a custom. All right, Elu. <laughs> That's slightly annoying. How about way down here? Look at the mouse way down here. No? I need to. I can't even see my velocity. Oh, 143. That's terrible. Sorry, Elu. So, uh, one of the good things uh, about this, though, is that you can see the atmospheric drag, <laughs> and Elu is still in front of the screen. And that atmospheric drag got up really high there when my speed got up too high. I also wasted a lot of fuel. Give it a little bit more throttle now. I think, yeah, still dropping down, but okay, acceptable. I don't know if my, is my voice going all over the place? Is this recorded in stereo? I don't even know. Um, let's see if I can get her down way over here. Look at Bill, Bill and Jeb. Jeb's excited. Okay. You can't see the cat that's in front of the screen, but it's very annoying. Okay, she's down by the mouse. Good, good, good. <laughs> I can see the speed again. It's still too high. Uh, now I'm gonna do a pitch over. So I think I'm gonna wanna go a little more aggressive. And uh, yeah, because her speed's already fairly high. What's, look at over here, the apoapsis. Uh, 15, 16 kilometers. Yeah, so that's already three kilometers kind of above above where I am. That's Anyway, not a big deal. Everything should be going fine here. Uh, those first ones should have parachuted off. I couldn't see because of the cat. Let's see if I can get her to come up on my lap here. Oh, oh squeaky. Hi. So she had her uh, ovario hysterectomy the other day. Uh, that's the uh, uh, fixed... Uh, Spade, that's the word. Oh, why am I not? I need to be paying more attention. Aggressive. Here. And let's look over here. Gotta get some horizontal speed going. Oh, yeah. This is not gonna be the most uh, efficient to orbit. Anyway, she had she got spayed uh, the other day. Let's see, did those. Can you see the pair? Oh, you wouldn't be able to see the parachutes coming out of this altitude. Uh, if we get up to orbit fast enough, though. I might be able to uh, switch back and watch them. Okay. Get a little bit more throttle. Apoaps is 57. Good. This thing's going to have tons of fuel. Everything should be good for this. Anyway, so she uh, she had it done. Everything went really well. Uh, and uh, she, apparently she, by the by the, that evening she was <laughs> it was like she'd never uh, had anything done at all. So. Uh, the vets were very impressed with her and they wanted to keep her apparently 
which is of course not allowed. She's ours. And they misspelled her name. They did not get the Elu reference. Shocked, I'm sure we are. <laughs> Okay, 76, 77 kilometers. I'll take it up to 85 or so. And we'll call that um, the altitude that the space station will be at, somewhere around 85. And uh, yeah, so she came back. Whoops, what's. Ah, there we are. That's a little high. Okay, she came back uh, yesterday. Uh, and I was worried that, because she, she plays with a dog a lot, I was worried that. She would, uh, can we, uh, switch to those other ones? I probably, I can't, yeah, I can't really switch to them. Suffice it to say, they'll touch down safely. Um, yeah, so I was worried about, uh, her tearing her stitches and licking at it and stuff. There seems to be no issue, though. She did fall down the stairs a couple times. <laughs> She's lost her balance a little bit or something. And, uh, and she's a goof, so, but everything <laughs> seemed to hold together, so Elu is good. She's no longer, uh, we have to worry, no longer do we have to worry about her being in heat. I have 30-some seconds to apple here. <clears throat> so what I'll do, I think, uh, I can get close to orbit just on this tank. It looks like I have enough left, so start giving it a little bit of throttle here. Don't want to get. Um, what's the word? I don't want to get behind uh, the apoapsis. So I may need to switch to things here and be at like five degrees or something. There we go. That's better. No, oh, too much, too much. Too much. Ah! No, Elu, you're such a pain. <laughs> I guess I can just toggle the throttle. I can't really see a whole lot of the things that are going on here. I need to pay attention to the periaps, too. I don't want it to get too high when I disengage this stage. So maybe 25 kilometers or so. Or apparently 29. Okay. Now we stage there. Uh, what's our time to apoapsis? 13 seconds. I think I can kind of go prograde now. <laughs> Alright, there's a little bit of a... <laughs> oh, I went past. Shoot. Oh, Elu, get away. <laughs> Oh, well. Oh, there we go. That brought it back. Oh, let's say maybe five. Trying to get a pretty... Okay, that's pretty circular. Uh, it's off by 250 meters, so I'm very happy with that. Uh, now let's see. One thing I did want to do It'll look better this way. And yes, we have the big solar panels. Power will not be an issue. That was weird. Did one come out upside? Oh yeah, because they flip. They flip. Uh, they're flipped horizontally, so one came out upside down. I guess. <laughs> there we go. So massive amounts of energy, no worry, need to worry there. Let's get the view from the inside. We have the moon rising. I think we had enough delta V. We probably could have taken this to the moon. Okay, I do need to uh, switch to. Ugh, why can't I? There seems to have been some sort. Of, something went wrong with this. I don't know what it is where it's wanting to just to focus instead of switching to other vehicles I don't know it says use map view to select distant ones but it doesn't seem like I can do that anymore for whatever reason 
but I can always go to the space center and find it from here. Uh, is that the one? Yeah. Oh, uh, one thing I want to do is I've called this the hitchhiker just because uh, uh, the the uh, top bit has using the hitchhike has the hitchhiker uh, section for for more crew capability. Um, but I don't want to call the whole space station hitchhiker. Uh, what I'd like is if you guys could suggest uh, names for the space station, and I will pick from those names. I'll pick the most awesome slash funny slash silly one, probably. If you know my sense of humor so uh, that's something could be fun depending if anyone does it or not and there's a, this thing is gonna turn terribly terribly slow somewhere in here we have the uh, probe you can kind of see it in between there there it is the probodyne thingy anyway uh, won't matter too much we have some parachutes up here as well to, to orient ourselves and we're gonna do a powered attempt to do a powered landing Hopefully on land. Looks like definitely on land. So that's good news. I'm still, still not even that far from the core. I guess that's why when the, um, uh, like the dragon or the, uh, the Russian one and the space shuttle and things like that, they could actually watch it re-enter from, from the space station. I, I guess that's why, because as you can see here, we've done a. We didn't even, no, that, yeah, they weren't going the same speed, I guess. This one didn't reach orbital velocity, whereas this one did. So, yeah, there's some differences, perhaps, but you'd, you'd definitely be able to see this one re-enter from, from that ship. Oh, we've switched orientation. Elu's going nuts again. Uh, so let's presume I had heat shields on the front, because <laughs> that seems to be the direction it's going to orient itself. And uh, we should get some nice effects here. Oh, where's we coming up to? There's some water there. Oh, we'll go to the south of it, it looks like. I don't know. I may have to manually put the parachutes out. They won't go out for a bit yet anyway. I don't know. Should be getting some re-entry effects here shortly. There we go. Should be interesting too, because it's going to flip as the, uh, the ship flips, I think. Yeah. Uh, so what else is new? Uh, so there was some controversy on the forums uh, from a uh, live broadcast they did uh, earlier in the week about expansion packs versus uh, upgrades. Uh, they've always said upgrades will be free. And, uh, and Harvester said something about, oh, up to future oh this apparent those apparently were already out that's fun <laughs> oops <laughs> okay uh yeah he said uh uh anyway the expansion pack that potentially could come out would be would be something that you'd pay for and uh, there was a lot of controversy uh with people saying oh no you said the updates are always going to be free and such and anyway, I didn't see it that way. Uh, perhaps I'm in the minority, but I saw it as um, updates are things like, you know, version 1.2, version 2.0, you know, will be updates. Whereas expansion packs are something like adding something completely different in like a whole whack of new parts or something that wasn't really planned on being in the core game. So uh, and I think he, some of the stuff he mentioned being in the expansion maybe at some points in the past had been mentioned about maybe making it into the game so anyway i didn't really fully see it and he he backtracked on that sort of stuff anyway so it seems like it's not going to be an issue although you know i wouldn't mind throwing more money at squad i i, I can't remember how much i paid for the game it was maybe ten dollars look how much you know enjoyment i've got out of it and stuff like that so anyway that's my opinion on that um what else there's some new new parts coming up there's a new rover wheels i saw being worked on um what else was there can't remember there was another new part that they showed too and uh yeah so we're getting close to being able to do our power to landing shoot should open soon there they go 
I'm just going to fast forward until it looks like we're getting closer to the ground. We're not going to get a shadow because it's nighttime, but... Uh oh, why is the engine not working? No electric charge! <laughs> oh crap. Uh, minor oversight we had, but we did have two parts remaining. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, definitely more power. I've made that mistake I don't know how many times. You can probably tell me. So, everything should be good up here. Whoops. I'm going to end the flight of this, uh, this piece. No, not vehicle assembly building. Uh, there we are, the core. We lose a little bit in the way. What was that? Did you say something? We'll turn this ship. So it has nothing but RCS for power, which is should be enough for maneuvering around. This thing still has uh, lots of fuel and power. I really barely used anything. I guess I didn't need much in there. But uh, eventually the idea will be, if I can get a good camera view. It kind of looks like a plane, actually. The idea will be, yeah, more more bits will tag on. I think the net, um, there's a connection point right up front here to dock onto and one right back here. So the next, one of the next pieces back here will probably be kind of a, uh, a node with a bunch of other ports coming out of it. It'll be a simple one. And then, uh, I don't know what will stick out the front here. Maybe a escape pod or something like that. Uh, let me know what other, um, things I should be adding to the space station. I'll do maybe an episode or two adding, adding bits to this. And then, uh, maybe we can send up a, a, a mooner rover of some kind, uh, refuel from here or something and, and head to the moon. I think that's a good plan. Um, this part I can return at some other point as well. Um, it's kind of independent. I can detach it and then reattach it or something like that. Use its fuel mostly up. Might as well not waste. It's got a bit of monopropellant as well. This thing, of course, has a ton of monopropellant. So uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, my name is Hillsdash, and I will see you soon at the yet to be named, please give me a naming suggestion, uh, space station. See you soon.